So Maui County uh, is in a really special time because of all the land that's become available. And I think that for us to be able to grow farmers, um, we need to put them on land. Um, a lot of people are wondering, how are we gonna do this transition? Well, the only way we're really gonna do it is with lots of farmers. Uh, we need a lot of farmers to get out there on the land um, because the former sugar operations were highly mechanized. So that's why the Farmers Union's highest priority is the Farm Apprenticeship Mentoring Program so that we can pair younger aspiring producers with mentors like Bobby Pahia or Vincent Mina or Jerry Ross or um, James Simpliciano or others who have skills that they'd like to transfer to the next generation. How I see the future of Maui agriculture is first of all built around having a diversity of crop, having a diversity of labor force, that we have an, a multitude of smallholder farmers, people that are producing a lot of food on this small area and doing it in a way that regenerates the soil. And the co coursework would, uh, would focus on everything that a young beginning farmer would need to know. The second phase would focus on, okay, now I have these basics, it's time for me to learn how to turn it into a reality. As a family farmer, there's a lot of knowledge that I've accumulated and other farmers have accumulated over the years. At 63, I'm the average age of a farmer and seeing that there needs to be a support system for young farmers who are passionate about working the land to be able to transition into an ability to farm. I look for people that are passionate about wanting to work the land, and then understanding the dynamics of what that means in translating it into a farm is just details. That's where the FAM program comes in. And to have a soup the nuts, so to speak, on how to become a farmer, how to maintain being a farmer, and sustainably make a living at being a farmer. And in this way, we have a, a growing young uh, uh, network of people that are our future farmers. I joined the FAM program, just strictly, um, it was a, a whim. I had been working with HCNS for close to 29 years, and they had several job fairs and the college programs were coming by to help people try to transition into new jobs. And I talked with Nicolette from the college, and she mentioned some of the sustainable ag programs that were really interesting and said, oh, you might be perfect for this FAM program. And now that I have the opportunity to be on the land and just, you know, get in tune with it, um, I want to ramp up more food. Um, I previously had a lot of ornamentals and seeing the permaculture models on some of the mentors' farms is really inspiring to me. And we're starting the first Rainbow Trout Aquaponics Farm here on Maui, and through him, he's the vice president of the Farmers Union, um, he got me involved uh, with, with this program, and I was selected. You know, I never would have thought I'd find myself here farming and, and, and actually enjoying it and um, wanting to pursue a career in sustainable agriculture. I've been working with uh, James Simpliciano at uh, Simply Fresh Farms. He was actually, uh, his wife is my longtime friend. Um, and actually he's the one that kind of sparked me into farming. I uh, went to his farm about a year and a half ago. And after seeing what he's done there and visiting some of the other farms that he's created uh, over the years, I uh, just got really interested in growing good food. Every time we have a class or we learn something new or a little factoid, I have to incorporate that and it changes the trajectory of where I'm headed. I want to possess the skills so that when people ask me questions about their gardens, I have the answers. So it's more than just applying it to my yard, I want to be able to share that expertise with my community and my village and have those solutions. I recently graduated from the University of Hawaii Maui College with my bachelor's in sustainable science with a concentration on uh, agriculture, not just on the industrial level, which is extremely important, but on the independent level as well, and looking to our small farmers um, to see where I could be helpful and beneficial. It's not just labor. There's a lot of strategic 
energy that has to go into play. Uh, and so being able to take that information and map it out and give it to the community to make it a little bit easier, to give them a little bit more of a step up for our future farmers uh, to be able to go out and uh, be effective. Diversity in the way we farm is really the road of the future. Monocrop farming tends to cause soil depletion, buildup of pests in the soil, a lot of problems that way. As you increase diversity, really long-term sustainable agriculture is about cultivating the microbiology in the ecosystem in the soil. Korean natural farming is one tool out of many that can be used to get us productive, healthy food and get it quickly. I think we need more programs like this where young people have opportunities to, to kind of get encouraged into the world, uh, into the realm of farming and uh, growing food. It's a really important part of making uh, Maui and the islands more sustainable. So we are seeing some pretty large tracts of former sugar plantation lands from just last year now going into new crops, which is fantastic. In the former sugar lands of the Malaya region, we now have the wonderful company Pacific Biodiesel doing a test field crop. I believe it's about 14 acres, and they're testing different varieties of sunflowers for biofuel crops. The other sugar land that's in transition is um, Bobby Pahia on Hoaloha Farms, and he is just up the street from Pacific Biodiesel, and he's growing kalo uh, at scale. I do believe he has a couple hundred acres lease. We are working with the Hawaii Farmers Union United Farmer Apprenticeship Program and Kamehameha Schools to grow uh, whole systems of agriculture at this location on the west side that used to be in sugar. It's uh, former pioneer sugar lands and it's soon to be a breadfruit forest. Aloha, my name is Hanalei Koleado. We're here in Waikapu, out in the open cane field. Got a little piggery going down here. About to expand exponentially. Uh, currently we're doing everything. In fact, we'll continue to do everything organically. And so good to see life come back to these cane fields after juicing them with all kinds of stuff over the years. Now we can bring back soil biology again and bring the ground back to life. We grow the soil that contributes to the overall health of the plant, the animal, and everything around us. And uh, that's what we're all about. And we have a friendly community over here of other farmers that are doing the same thing. So we have an awesome community happening right now. Uh, as you can see in the open field, we planted 30 um, ulu trees. We have two varieties at present. And uh, imagine how much fruit you can get off of one tree. You know, that's really what it's all about, is producing food because we gotta feed our people and people cannot afford to eat nowadays, so expensive. But if it can be made affordable for them, then we can go back to old ways and, and, and share the bounty of the land. We all know that we need to move towards a diverse, sustainable food system. We need to be more resilient to changes in the market and natural disasters, you know, shipping, shutting down for whatever reason. We need to have a, a good percentage of our food grown here and grown sustainably so that we are not undermining our, the long-term viability of our soils. I think young farmers are the future because right now the average age of farmers in the United States is I think around 61 or 62. And unless we get young farmers involved, that whole generation of farming knowledge will disappear. So we really need to get young people involved in farming. The enthusiasm that young people bring, the ability for them to then take that energy into the community, both as food, getting the community involved in their farm. It's really important to have uh, that new generation coming along, new, new ideas, absolutely essential. Right now in small farm evolution, we're seeing a whole nother generation of novel ways of growing a lot of food for a decent, living wage on two to four acres, small footprint, high impact. So that's a great thing to have with the new generation. The future of Maui agriculture or the Hawaii as a state is going to be built around connecting the dots with Aloha Aina Malama Aina, 
and having that relationship between our, our bodies and the soil and the spirit of what that represents in our food supply.